welcome back. Today is Craft It Up Tuesday. We are back. We're doing crafts. And I hope to be doing these every Tuesday. But today we are going to be doing sublimation on a cotton shirt. A white cotton shirt. This is the extra large. I think I'll do a pajama shirt with this. Um, what we have is this new powder. It's probably been out a while. I don't know. But it's transfer powder. It's for DTF in DTG printing. And you need to use this paper to do it and to use it. So we're gonna give it a go, see if it works. I've not tried it, I've only watched videos on it. So let's get in. I don't remember whose video I seen that did it, because I watched like 20 videos. So we're gonna give it a go and see if it works, how well it works. And then I will wash it this week and let you know next Tuesday. Um, I'll take a picture of it after I print it and then a picture of it after I wash it to see how well it stayed on. So I'm gonna open this up, get rid of the noise factor if I can. And I forgot to order this, so I had a order it last night and have it shipped to me today so we can do this video. And they don't sell it at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and stuff like that. So I just had to order it off Amazon. And I think it was only maybe $12. It was between $10 and $12 for a pack of 30. So they look like this sheet. Now one side is, they both feel the same. One side's supposed to be like glossy and the other side is supposed to be kind of like rough. But they both, the both sides feel the same. Sorry, stuff on cat's tail. So I guess it doesn't matter on this brand on what side you print. We'll give it a go. If it messes up, we'll just try another one. So I didn't bring any tissue paper in here. Because you don't want to, you know, waste it. So I'll just use it on the back of this. So, we're going to go over to my computer, find a sh uh, picture that, oh, a little close. <laughs> I'm going to find a picture to put on the shirt for nighttime, and then we will print it out on the computer, and then put this powder on there. I probably get it open. Why do you keep laying under my feet? Um, after you print, you have to put this on right away before the ink dries. This is like a melt. So let's make sure it's all the way open before, you know, we get that far. So we're not struggling at the end. So they have this one you can do on light colors and they have one you can do on, I guess, dark colors. But I'm gonna see how I like this one first. And then I'll go from there. If I like it, maybe I'll do the black, um, the dark colors. I'm going to watch a couple more videos on the darker color one so I know exactly how to do it. Of course, swoop go in here. Um, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to find a picture and then I'll be back and then show you how I print it off and everything else. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to, I almost forgot, you put it, you need to put a sheet of copy paper behind it, just so it goes through the computer, or the printer good, and it doesn't get jammed or whatever, but this has a double-sided membrane on it, so it don't matter what side I print on, which is nice. So we're going to, this is Cricut Space, we're going to go to Uploads, and we're going to hit this one. 
then add it. I'm gonna do Freddie Mercury. I wonder if I can. I don't know if I can do this or not, but I'm gonna try and cut it. Make it a little smaller. The background anyway. So we will try. If not, I'll just keep it the way it is. I just unlocked it so I can make this box any shape I want. But I don't know if it will let me do it on... Oh, it will. Sometimes they don't let you do it on a print and cut. It's very irritating. But it will cut this down. So it'll make it smaller. So you have less black. So... do this get rid of that business now I'll just get rid of all that just delete it all and then We'll make a text. Can't stop me now. I think I want to do a different font. So you just go up here in the fonts. And it will switch. Let me move it over so we can at least see it. So you can change it to any. They have so many fonts on here. It's crazy. And you can see if you like it before you log out. I don't like that at all. Let's see what that one looks like. I love script. I don't know why. But I do. Maybe that's a little bolder. That might be too bold. Well, that's not bad. And we can change the color. We gotta change this to print and cut. And then it will take the black lining out Let's get that where we want it I want to go up higher I hate how it does that too how it comes down so you can't see crap like, you see that? And you can turn it to any angle you want. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to attach that. And we're going to, over here in print, let's make it. And you see it's stuck on there now. And then you want to mirror it, otherwise your lettering will be backwards, and it will look not right. <laughs> so I want to move this to in the middle. Continue. Send a printer. I gotta pick what printer I'm going to be using today. And you don't want bleed on. You only do that if you're going to sublimate onto a vinyl. So you know that your cut might not be the same as the print. So it will go over a little. So it will take out the white edgings on a vinyl. 
Then I will load this into the printer. That box is everywhere. So I'll come over here to the printer. And then we want to set this in like so. And then I'll hit print. And hopefully it don't get stuck in there. I'm hoping it doesn't smear my rollers. But then we're going to come over here. Turn that back on. Where's my baby? Oh, it helps if I turn my, plug my printer in. To my computer. I don't know if it's going to go into my printer. Let's try it again. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to fit in my printer with this paper behind it. We're gonna take the paper off. Wish us luck. like lines in it and I don't know why but I'm gonna throw it on here and you won't waste this because you can just pour it right back into the thing but it will stick to the ink Pour it right back in there. Come on, Tigger. Knock off the excess. And then I'm going to let this sit for a minute. Off camera, I am going to cut this out. So we will be back. Okay, so I've got the shirt. Wait a minute. And you always want to heat press. Get any moisture out. It's going to be in this area here. Just set it down for a few seconds. And then you always want to put something in between the shirt, so the color, just in case, because it can sometimes leak through onto the back. So we're just going to put him in here. Don't have to be perfect, because it's not a very big picture. I mean, you do want it on there straight, though, the picture itself. So, oh, I need this piece. So you got the wrinkles out, you got the moisture out. Now you're going to get this, put it down. Probably about right there. Maybe a little lower. So I plan on putting a lot of Freddie Mercury's pictures on this shirt all over it, but we're just going to do this for now because we don't know how well it works, how well it doesn't. And it's just a night shirt, so it's not going to matter if it's straight. 
it's just my shirt. But you want to put that down and then do it for 50 seconds. So we're going to put that down and when that is done, I will come back. I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch that. So take it off of there. Oh no. That don't look very nice, does it? Yeah. Don't that look pretty? So, I don't know, guys. I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, this will be a mock-up shirt. So, I'm going to print up another one and do it on the other side. And see how it goes. I guess I'll just use this shirt for practice stuff. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so the paper says to heat press it for 10 to 15 seconds. Not a minute. So we're going to try that. So, second time's a charm, right? Third time? Fourth time? We'll see. I'm scared. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's peel it. You gotta do a hot peel. You're supposed to. But look at it. It's, it's not going on all the way. Let's do it for a couple more seconds. I'm gonna get this right. It might kill me, but I'm gonna get it right. Even if we have to do little segments at a time. Sticky and tacky. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Same. At least it didn't smear. Huh. It's getting there. So, I think we'll continue this one next week. I'm going to watch a couple more videos on it, see what they're doing, what's different. I have no idea. I mean, at least this time it didn't smear like this did. That just looks horrible. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll play around with it a little bit. Like I said, this is the very first time I've ever used it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you want to see me try something, let me know and I will do it. Um, if you want to see me press a mug, this I'll do this again next week, see how it goes. Maybe I'll do it a couple of times during the week. See if it works. Then, I, like I said, I'll wash it, see if it stays on. I'll do a, like a mini clip video. And then... Let you guys see if it worked, if it didn't work. I don't know what's going on. But it is getting better. I mean, at least you can see them. It's just not as black as it should be right here. So, I'm going to play around. I'll let you guys know what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Too bad it was a fail. Disappointed. Anywho, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great evening. I'm going to go watch some YouTube videos on this. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.